In the last episode, we sailed to St. Vincent and the Grenadines with Privateer, the Swan 60 we were invited to. But the plans changed quickly when I injured my big toe and we had to sail directly to Beckway to see a doctor. Two days after the accident, I felt good enough to go ashore with the help of strong painkillers. And after all, it was Christmas Eve. We were anchored in Port Elizabeth in Beckway, which is a big anchorage, and hundreds of boats had gathered here to spend Christmas. It's known to be a meeting place for Scandinavians because of the old Scandinavian whaling stations that were located here in the end of the 19th century. So Malin, feeling better? Um, yeah, a little bit. It still hurts, but it's better. So, first time on land since the accident. We put a sock on and plastic with a plastic bag, <laughs> so it won't get wet. We changed the bandage yesterday, and uh, that hurt a lot. <laughs> yeah. You won. He was very helpful, but I screamed a little bit. Yeah. Merry Christmas! <laughs> yeah. It's Christmas the 24th and we're in Bekwi and um, we're on the Swan 60 Privateer out there somewhere together with Peter from Denmark and um, yeah unfortunately we can't walk so far so I guess we're going to have dinner here tonight Next thing to do was to find a pair of crutches, so I wouldn't have to jump on one leg all the time. Boy, come. He's tired. Come Push. Success! Yeah? Oh. You think you need another one? I don't know. This is uh, you can get another one for the same price. You should try this first. How do you like cooking in this kitchen or in this galley? Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's it's a lot easier than on Ron, but Ron has a good galley too. But this is, of course, it's easier. It's bigger. Freezer, two big fridges, good, really good oven to bake bread, for uh, burners on the stove. And kitchen fan. Yeah, a fan that really goes out. It's not just a filter, it actually takes the air and moves it outside, so that's great. And the best thing of everything is the fan up here, so you can have some cooling. And of course, there's uh, what we call that air condition, air conditioning. If you yeah. want to have that, <laughs> and just plenty of storage. Yeah, storage everywhere on the there. floor, up here, microwave. Yeah, it's a good kitchen. The Christmas dinner tasted good, but somehow we were the only ones in the restaurant. It was much livelier next door, where a steel band was playing, so we went there to check it out.
house it's so it's okay got a new bandage the sailing community is just great when you need things because we know some people on a boat and they were here and they happen to be a surgeon and a nurse so we went over and they had a look on the toe to get a second opinion and it was great and they helped us and gave us some tips and they put some new bandage on it so that was very good thank you Matthias and Sonia <laughs> what are you bringing? <laughs> I'm bringing rum because now we're in the Caribbean and we're supposed to drink rum at Christmas Eve <laughs> uh, very different from a Scandinavian Christmas <laughs> but I'm afraid this is uh, the way to do it here. sounds good cheers cheers Our Swiss friends came over to privateer to have a look on the injury a second time. Just sit here and wait 10 minutes. What do you think about the accident, Matthias? This with this toe? The most common accident that happens on boats. Yeah. It's like hands and feet and working in the kitchen. That's the most dangerous thing. Yeah. And falling in the water while peeing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And these guys, they, are, they have also crossed the Atlantic and was a part of the Barbados 50 regatta. Yes. Yeah, yes. that's the name. And we met, together, we met again here in Beckley. And they have an awesome trimaran called Neil 45, right? Yes. And the name of the boat is? Nilaya. Nilaya. Yeah. As our daughters are called, Nila and Leah. Yeah, it's really nice. And it's for sale! <laughs> yeah, so if any one of you out there is interested in a trimaran, you should really check this out. Now, if we had the money, I would definitely buy that boat because it's a really awesome boat. Yeah, it's, exactly. Uh... Aye, 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 it's good. <laughs> mm. It's finished. Mm. In the ideal world, you would take everything out, yeah. but then you pull all the back. Yeah, <laughs> I'm slow as a turtle. Yeah. Uh, we're heading south again on the privateer. And we're going to Sebago Keys. It's about uh, 20, 25 nautical miles from uh, Bikwi. And uh, today it's a lot calmer, of course we're going a bit more up downwind, but we have the wind on the beam now. And we have, uh, yeah, at the moment we have 23 knots of apparent wind. And doing 7.7 .7 knots. group of small islands uh, tucked in a lot of re uh, a lot of different reefs and I'm up here last time we sailed I had to stay down in the bed and there were blood and everywhere there were blood everywhere and I was really was feeling very bad today I'm much better we have a new bandage it's much airier and uh, lighter Tobago Keys are also called the world's end reefs. The whole Atlantic is in front of it, and the waves crashes against the reef, keeping the waves out, but it's still unprotected from the wind.
We were a bit unlucky because the wind was very strong which made it hard to swim and go ashore. Beautiful place, but very, very windy. So windy that Yuan he couldn't swim into shore. That's a pity because here it's full of turtles and uh, stingrays. Nice, very nice. A bit too windy though. It's uh, 25 knots of wind, gusting to 30 even. So yeah, it's quite far to swim to the beach in this wind, in these waves, so next time. On the way back to Grenada, we sailed on the Atlantic side of the island to get steady winds the whole way. Coming back south was much easier than sailing north, as we had the wind aft of the beam. The passage was 45 nautical miles and it was a great sail with speeds up to 11 knots. We missed you! Thank you for watching the latest episode of Round Sailing. Hope you liked it and if you did, please give us a thumbs up. Oi. <laughs> We want to send a big thank you to all of our patrons for supporting the making of these videos. And if you enjoy these videos, you can join our Patreon crew as well and get some nice rewards in return. So guys, stay tuned for the next episode and have a really great day! Mwah!